Hey guys, it's Carly from All The Pretty Books, your place for all things Harry Potter, and we have some wonderful things to talk about today. I'm so excited. There was a brand new translation release, not new cover, but as in brand new translation added to the already long list of Harry Potter translations that exist. And I have it right here, but before we get to that, I actually have a little bit of things I want to unbox. So this came all the way from Japan, but it came all the way from Japan just like this. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Thankfully, everything I ordered is here. All right, so in case you didn't know, the Japanese for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, the Japanese publisher released the first three books in brand new cover art, and they've got the other four coming, and they're gorgeous. And they put... The USB sticker, like, right here on the front of the cover. Who does that? Like, at least it came off easy, but still. We'll stick that guy there for now. And they're a hardcover. I thought they were going to be soft cover, and they're hard. Aren't they great? This is book one. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. All the Japanese books come with, like, little papery things down here at the bottom. They're not attached, so you can take it off. Look at at that. Isn't that fabulous? I love their depiction of Hogwarts Castle. There's nothing on the back. It just says in English, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with the Wizarding World logo. And if you're wondering, because I've been asked, if you're wondering if I am going to keep the little ribbony thingy, yes. If I ever decide to resell these and I don't see myself doing so, some people will not purchase these books if it doesn't have the Japanese books, if it doesn't have the little ribbon thing, they consider it like almost a book without a jacket it's not considered intact so i keep them and it really doesn't take away much from the cover we'll just keep it down here at the bottom what do you guys think oh, i love the phoenix oh, this is just great they're in the chamber of secrets coming out it's it's at the end of the book i love i love that moment uh, the, uh, the chamber of secrets is not my favorite movie but or wow look or a movie actually but I love that moment when Fox swoops down gets Harry he knows he's saved he gets to live another day such a good moment and three I love green green is my absolute favorite color in case you haven't noticed and I I love green so I love that the primary colors here are green isn't that fabulous and if you saw my unboxing video of the infinity box it came with this really cool tote and I use this as my mail bag. I get my, my mail from the post office in it now. I think it's very fitting. <laughs> oh, cool. So the Spanish series was re-illustrated. Let's see when it was re-illustrated with uh, different covers. And I'm slowly acquiring those. They're just not high priority. So if I find them cheaply, I get them. But otherwise... I don't, yeah, 2015 these came out. And again, isn't that great? I love the font. I, of course, love the green. And again, it's Harry with the hippogriff with Buckbeak when he's just meeting him. And the cover art actually carries over to the back side. Isn't that wonderful? <gasps> I know what this is. I need all seven of these. It's the Bulgarian. So for the 20th anniversary of the Bulgarian, published by Egmont, Bulgaria, they redesigned the covers too. They have unique cover art for the first time. And here it is. Here's book one. Look, it's Hagrid and Harry. There's Hogwarts in the background. I, I really like it. What do you think? I know it's very different but I really like it. Here's the back. Looks like Norbert. I'm so excited and it's hardcover. It's a beautiful hardcover and I need the uh, two through seven now. <gasps> oh, look at that. Ah, it's just, it's fabulous. <laughs> They're great. They're so pretty. So like I said, brand new translation. 
But before I show it to you, I'm going to show you what translations we do have. We've got translations, adaptations. We even have several translations that exist with two different alphabets. Afrikaans, Albanian, Arabic, Armenian, Asturian, Azerbaijani, Basque, Bengali, Bosnian, Breton, Bulgarian, Catalan, Chinese, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Estonian, Faroese, Filipino, Finnish, French, West Frisian, Galician, Georgian, German, Low German, Ancient Greek, Modern Greek, Greenlandic, Hawaiian, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Icelandic, Indonesian, Irish, Italian, Japanese, Kumai, Korean, Latin, Latvian, Lithuanian, Luxembourgish, Macedonian, Malay, Malayalam, Marathi, Mongolian, Norwegian, Occitan, Persian, Polish, Brazilian, Portuguese, European, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Scots, Serbian, Sinhala, Slovakian, Slovenian, Spanish, Swedish, Tamil, Telugu, Thai, Tibetan, Turkish, Ukrainian, Urdu, Valencian, Vietnamese, Welsh. And the newest translation is <laughs> Belarusian. Isn't that awesome? It is out of Belarus. Actually, they use the Cyrillic alphabet. It also comes with this really cool bookmark that matches the book. I I love it. This is a beautiful hardcover. They have done a fabulous job. It looks very similar to the English. In fact, it even kept with the red jewel tones that you see in the English edition. There's your spine. There's the back. It really looks very similar, but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful hardcover. And it, the quality is really nice. They have done a fabulous job with it. Blurb about Joe. I just love it. And up until now, there's not been a Belarusian book. So this is the newest. I hope they do all seven. And I'm actually working on getting a Belarusian speaker to read for my Book That Lives project. And if you happen to be a Belarusian speaker and would like to record for my Harry Potter The Book That Lives project, go ahead and just shoot me an email. I'll put my address down below. What is The Book That Lives project, you may ask. I will put the link down below. But essentially, I've gone around, like I said, and I've got native speakers, mostly native speakers from all the different languages I just showed you reading for the project. So you can hear what Harry Potter sounds like all around the world and it's beautiful. So what do you think of the newest Harry Potter translation to join my shelves and to join our collections? Let me know in the comments below. I'm super, super, super excited as you can tell. And I'm actually going to be moving shortly, so Book Room 2.0 will happen. And then I'm going to reorganize. I've even got some shelves, some brand new shelves that I'm going to put up. So all my shelves should hopefully match, which will be fabulous. So I'll be moving probably in March. Super, super excited. And if you would like to win a Harry Potter translation, this super cool German illustrated by Sabina Wilhelm, which can, this one came out in 2018. This lovely could be yours. You just have to follow the instructions down below. Are you a translation collector? Let's chat. I love talking to other collectors. I'll put my contact information down below, or do you just collect regular, normal English Harry Potter books? If that's the case, I love to talk about those too, because I also collect signed and rare Harry Potter books. That's actually what I started out doing. So if you want to chat Harry Potter, just let me know. And if you have any questions about collecting Harry Potter, let me know those as well. I don't mind answering them. And with that, I'm going to say, Thanks for watching and super happy collecting.